Welcome to Six Figs, I'm Kyle, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all sorts of crazy cool stuff going on with Definity Internet Computer. Everything from the amount of smart contracts to AI, and I'm actually going to show you a live AI model that's going on the internet computer right now that you can test out. We're gonna hit the charts, all that stuff, guys. This is a jam-packed video you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. Definity drops an absolute stunner of a tweet. Excited to announce a half a million canister smart contracts are now deployed on ICP in the span of just 72 days. The number of canister smart contracts have surged from 400 to 500,000. So in the last 72 days, we've seen an increase of 100,000 smart contracts be deployed on the internet computer. That's a big deal, folks. Uh, so that's very cool to see. And really, when it comes down to it, right now the internet computer is storing 4.32 tebibytes, which is just a hair bigger than a terabyte, I believe, worth of data, which is a huge deal. This would cost probably billions of dollars, literally, to store this much data on Ethereum. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars to store this stuff on like Solana. The best part about the internet computer is that data storage is cheap. So there's a lot of great chains out there that should be using the internet computer as a database host or a Web3 cloud. So we're gonna see more migration as time goes on, and I really firmly do believe that. One of those projects that are running their, basically their infrastructure on Web3, Definity's internet computer, is Noble Blocks. Noble Blocks is a decentralized science platform that is running its infrastructure on the internet computer while being connected to the Ethereum ecosystem. This is exactly what the internet computer was designed to do, folks. So this is great to see. Here we have people from the Ethereum community not even knowing that they're inadvertently using internet computer to run transactions, things like that. This helps the IC, folks. This is great. So not only Will it help burn cycles, which help burns uh, ICP, things like that? But it also connects the internet computer to the largest consumer liquidity ecosystem, aka Ethereum. I have pinned, or I have not pinned, I have retweeted this great article by Jolly Green Investor on uh, Noble Blocks. And guys, when it comes down to it, Noble Blocks is the only decentralized science platform fully on chain. That means it's immutable. All these other projects out there, guess what? They're being hosted on Web2. You know, Google could just say one day, boom, you're done. Uh, so yeah, Jolly Green Investor dropped an absolute stunner. I'll pin this in the pinned comment. Definity. DAI space is coming to you. And I told you guys about this in yesterday's video. This is Thursday at 5 p.m. Central European summertime, I believe. So uh, this is going down uh, May 16th. And when it comes down to it, Definity is the only blockchain capable of running an AI system on it. It's just the way it is. So with that said, there is an option, and I will pin this in the comment too, in the pinned comment. If you wanna go check it out, guess what? All you need is a plug wallet ID, de you know, decentralized identity, whatever, and you can start a chat with an AI assistant, and really when it comes down to it, uh, you can start using AI, uh, things like that. But you can basically start testing the waters with AI, and this DaVinci AI model by uploading a PDF for the AI to use the content and its responses to you. So Dominic Williams did a demo of this where he uploaded a picture of a Lambo 
and it correctly identified uh, everything within the picture. So this is really cool to be able to use this at the consumer level. And this is just really when it comes down to it, this is in the very early stages. I just want to uh, make that very clear. So check it out. It's going to be great. We're seeing a sea, a sea of green today, folks. Uh, Internet computer I saw had the run up here a little bit. And this thing is sitting comfortably in rank number uh, 20. We're up 3.7% on the day. We're still up 126% on the year. So a lot of the OGs are sitting happy still. Uh, at least I am. We have this price structure going on in the charts. And I do believe that we are seeing a big squeeze happen. And I do believe that we are going to see this thing move here really quick. What I want to go ahead here and do is throw up some gone fans, folks. And really, when it comes down to it, we're going to see if we can uncover any hidden mysteries uh, to the charts. So these markets, believe it or not, move many times in 45 degree angles. And so that's why I am measuring out some 45s here, folks. We're going to throw up another 45. Let's get ourselves the good old, the good old gone fan. Here we go. Now we're going to draw this gone fan out like so. And interestingly enough, and I just love how these gone fans really do kind of like help predict um, where there might be support and resistance levels. Because whenever I do a gone fan, I'm always looking in hindsight to see if past price action has been relevant to the gone fan lines. And really when it comes down to it, you can see the support here, resistance here, resistance here, support here, resistance. So this is telling me support and resistance, resistance. So there's a lot of confirmations that price is moving within this structure that I so expertly drew up for you guys. Um, so here's where we're at right now. And what we're going to do is throw up some Fibonacci time sequence. And I'm going to give you a date and time to kind of look at here. Now, when I throw up this Fibonacci time sequence, you guys can kind of see that... Hmm. That if we just adjust this a little bit, we get some pretty nice confirmations here on reversals and increased volatility. We had pretty much, um, pretty much a spot on, you know, within. Let's let's bring this down to the hour. I want to really drill down some great technical analysis for you guys. Uh, so let's do this. You know, I'm just not really digging that. Let's do this once. Okay, I like this a lot better. Okay, so what we got to do here is now that I've got my Fibonacci time sequence, it pretty much predicted a nice reversal here. So that much we can see. Price came down. Within a couple hours of this time sequence, we caught the reversal. What's going to happen here, folks? Well, we've got a re uh, reversal or increased volatility right at this interesting intersection. So it's going to be interesting to see if price action wiggles its way up to the $14 level for ICP. There is a golden cross on the one hour chart here. And really, when it comes down to it, there kind of is like this little falling wedge that is a really kind of present on this chart right now. And that is a bullish thing uh, to be seen. Bear with me one second while I just get this up. And so what we can see is that, um, so this is squeezing in many different ways. And what we can see is that uh, we're seeing this falling wedge kind of form. It's squeezing in this downward angle. So I am hoping to see ICP break through this $12.61 level. And I'm interested to see that if I measure from here to here, 
if we're going to see the 786 or 127 or 61.8 right around those those levels. Okay, so okay, so we got the 61.8 right up in this this neighborhood. So I mean, you know, I think that there is this opportunity for ICP if we can get the bounce here and get above this fourteen dollar ish level. Um, there is this time sequence. I'll just go like within six to eight hours, one to eight hours of Saturday the 18th, midnight, Central Standard Time. Put that in your calendars. Figure out what time zone you're in. I'm in Central Time. So again, that is Saturday, May 18th, uh, midnight. You know, maybe within six hours of midnight on each side. Uh, there could be some increased volatility there. But let's just say that we get a very nice inverse head and shoulders or something like that to happen here, uh, then I think we're gonna see ICP really start to rip off uh, to the races. But I do suspect that, you know, we'll need to get through that 13, high 13s to low $14 ish range. And we'll just kind of keep our eyes on this over the next few days, folks. I love you all, and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Peace.